Welcome to Seesaw Skills and Progress Skills View. When teachers align their instruction to standards, they are better able to track progress and support each student's unique needs. Seesaw Skills and Progress Skills View are premium features that help teachers provide standards aligned instruction. In this training, you will add skills, tag skills to post in activities, give skills ratings, and track learning with Progress Skills View. First, Let's add skills. If you're a Seesaw for School teacher, your admin may have already done this for you. Woohoo! If not, consider asking them to bulk upload skills via their admin dashboard. To add skills for your class, open class settings. That's the wrench icon. Under the progress section, click manage skills. Then click new skill. Type the details of the learning standard. Then click the green check. Your skill is added. Continue adding a skill for each learning standard by repeating the steps. Pause the video now and add learning standards as skills. Next, tag skills to activities and posts. Tag skills to a post by clicking the skills icon on the bottom of the post. It looks like a graduation cap. Select one or more skills to tag and choose a rating. Tagged skills show at the bottom of each post. Going post by post is time consuming. Save time by tagging skills when assigning activities. When assigning an activity, click Edit Students, Folders, Skills. In the Skills tab, select one or more skills to tag to the activity. Tagged skills show at the bottom of the activity. When students respond to the activity, their post will be tagged to the skill automatically. Pause the video now. Tag skills to a post or an activity. Once skills are tagged to posts, give ratings to track progress towards standards. We recommend giving ratings when approving posts. When you click Review, you see tagged skills at the bottom of the post. Simply select your rating. You can also tag and rate additional skills at this step by clicking the graduation cap. Another easy way to give ratings is via the Activities Summary View. In the Activities tab, click the gray bar on an activity. Click on a student post to review. Click on the Skills icon at the bottom of the post. Select your rating for skills tagged to the response. You can also tag and rate additional skills at this step. Pause the video now and rate student work. When you regularly tag and rate skills, use the Progress Skills View to track and support student learning. Access Skills View in the Progress tab. It's next to the inbox. Skills View shows student skills ratings giving you an at-a-glance summary of mastery. Hover over a skill for more details. To hover, move your mouse over the skill, but do not click. See each student's most recent mastery rating for each skill. Customize the color scheme for your class in class settings. The number next to the colored icon indicates the number of posts by that student tagged to that skill. Hover over a rating for more details including the rating for each post by the student tagged to that skill. Click on a rating to view the posts. You'll see all posts by the student tagged to the skill, showing progress over time all in one place. For more specific views, use the filtering controls on the right. Filter by student, folders, and skills. You can even generate a shareable skills progress report by clicking on a student's name. This is the skills progress report. Under each skill is the date and the rating of the post tagged to the skill. You can copy or print this report to share with students and families. Skills and Progress Skills View are only visible to teachers and administrators. To share progress with students and families, share the progress report by copying or printing it. Progress Skills View helps identify learning trends, follow up with students, and provide students and families with actionable progress reports. Pause the video now and explore the Progress Skills View. You did it! You learned how to add and tag skills, give ratings, and use the Progress Skills View to track learning. Thanks for learning with us today. You can find more free training at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.